Hello guys, welcome back. <laughs> As you can see, I'm on an ultralight camping expedition here. <laughs> you may also see up here I've got the truck, not too far away at all. Um, yeah, I thought I'd bring the bell tent out. I've got work to do down here in the woods, um, shelter to tidy up and bits and bobs. Uh, so I thought I'd do a couple of nights, two, maybe three, we'll see how we get along um, and how things are going in the real world. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've got bell tent, new awning to add to it, a new carpet to try out food, Dutch oven, stove, everything. And the weather is beautiful. So I better get this started because it takes a little while. It takes a day to pack all this, get it together and pack it. And uh, yeah, it's gonna take a little while to put up. Another new thing I've got for the bell tent setup is a, like a footprint. Um, because it's four meter bell tent, it's so hard to clean it and things and um, the last time I used it it got pretty muddy and I was in the street getting it out, cleaning it down, trying to dry it, it's a lot of work. Um, so yeah this should help a bit with that. Uh, trying to avoid this bit of a stump here so I'm hoping maybe it could just be on the edge or um, maybe I can get this side of it, we'll see. This is the kind of biggest flat-ish area I've got here in the woods. The uh, same bell tent I've used a couple of times before in the canvas tent shop. Got our pegs, pole, oh, and the tent. the main structure up. I just need to go around and re-peg these because it goes a bit slack when you put these ones on but uh, it's looking good. Not used this in just over a year I think for obvious reasons really. So this is my new awning I've bought to go with the bell tent, just for a little outside space because the bell tent I'm most likely to use in winter. Uh, this gives me a little porch area for leaving boots and stuff. So got some poles, some cordage. Morning itself and some pegs. Right, this should be fun. <laughs> I bought this a little while ago, I should have looked at the picture. 
of exactly how they had it set up, but uh, I think I know the gist of it. This is the same kind of heavyweight canvas. Now I think the middle point here goes on the peg here. Well, it's up. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Loads of room in there for quite about like four people to sort of sit around if it was raining or something. And obviously if I'm on my own or whatever, very good for keeping stuff under that I don't want in the tent. You can better see the size of the thing from the side here. I think it's 2.9 meters out. Something like that, but it's the biggest size they do. Yeah, lots of extra room. Not that we're going to be getting any rain, I don't think, over the next couple of days, we'll see. So with all the outside up, I can turn my attention to the inside, and I've got this new carpet to try out. Pure luxury. Because in the winter, when you're using it, it's, um, it is a waterproof, thick lining, but, you know, the cold comes through it. So if you want to walk around without your boots on, this is going to be perfect. Trusty Leatherman. So these are in two halves, obviously because of the center pole. Just needs a bit of flattening out, but look at that. Keep your feet warm. I think the centre pole is not quite centre, but uh, we're on a slight incline here. So it's going to have to do like that. I've got my Winnerwell stove. It's my favourite one. I don't have to worry about weight. and a uh, heat proof mat. Nice. Nice thing about doing multiple nights compared to them single overnights is you know you got all the time in the world. I'm not rushing here. I don't know how long this has taken so far, but it wouldn't be worth it for one night. And my big air bed I've used many a time in churches in the bell tent.
a lot of you would have seen when I've used this kind of setup. I put a large foil blanket on the bed. Then I just use an ordinary bed sheet on top of that. I've even got a quilt. And pillows. I have got a sleeping bag with me as well because the stove won't be going all night and uh, it is still February, the temperature is still going to drop. <laughs> I got one of these ages ago, a little heat powered stove fan. Um, might need a little bending because it's been in the uh, bag with the stove, but um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Um, not going to be so necessary on this one, but in future when it's very cold, it just pushes that heat around just a little bit because you're quite far from the stove. And a couple of finishing touches I've got my comfy chair. And the uh, handy table collapses down. It's quite a nice big one, this. If I can remember how it goes. Right, so it's like that. Folds open, they swing over and lock in. Like so. And your tabletop locks in. To the base. Just handy for food prep and well, when you've got a lot of junk with you, like I have <laughs> today. There we go. Table, chair. Ah. So we've got the office, we've got the bedroom, and we've got the uh, kitchen over there with the stove. pretty much there. And because I'm no peasant, nice pair of slippers for when I'm in the tent. How's that for survival? Well I need to get some firewood for tonight. Uh, I'm going to get it from the wood store up over there. I've got my log carrier for that which is a very handy canvas thing or as Tom called it the bushcraft handbag. See I've got a lot of pieces of chestnut here just leaning up against the wood store, a bit messy, but that's for a project I'm starting this week. So looking forward to showing you that one.
Just doing a little bit of kindling just to help get the stove going later. Should have put my gloves on really. <laughs> Great place to keep firewood, right in the awning here, right by the stove pretty much. Nice dry area. And if I put this log here by the other side of the entrance, I can put on my water bottle, water tank, water holder, whatever you want to call it. And that can also go that way when it's tightened up <laughs> to actually use the tap on it. A load of water there. I've had a bit of a rest. <laughs> it's getting close to dusk now. I need to put up my uh, fairy lights. They're good because um, they put a light around you rather than in one spot casting shadows everywhere on what you're trying to do. Because that'd be in the middle. But also look at the roof, I can see got a little bit of uh, mould growing. So it kind of been super dry when I put it away. It's the downside of not having a, a big space to dry it out properly and everything. So I'll have to attend to that at some point. But yeah, time to put on the lights. These use a mains adapter. And I've got my inverter, power bank, power station, whatever you'd like to call it. used tape for this before but uh, it can get hot up here with the stove on so it just loses its tackiness. Just test them out. Boom. I do have a lantern as well, so should have plenty of light. Got a couple of paraffin lanterns with me. So I might just have one here at the entrance. And, uh, well, I'll think about the other one. I need to get them filled up anyway. I'd come down by the stream, check things out, and the ransoms are starting to come up, so I'll have to use some tomorrow for cooking. Yes, yeah, good to see a bit of green coming back. I thought I'd show you guys just that I've got a carbon monoxide alarm here. I'll suspend it up off the pole 
but this one it does show you a readout as well. Um, I've never got anything, but you know it's one of them things. They're not expensive, so it's good to have it. And I always have this when I'm using a tent stove, unless I forget it. <laughs> I'm getting peckish. I need a pre-dinner snack. Can use these fire lighters. There's no point in pretending to do bushcraft today. Need anything smaller than this kindling? can use the collapsible oven. I didn't bring the uh, stove pipe one. that the uh, fan's going. I've only just lit it, it's not even warm yet. I don't need that yet. I need this. Looks like we're going. Oven temperature's starting to get up now as well. This one takes a little longer than the uh, flu oven. Incidentally, I showed both of them on the review channel recently when I went over camping ovens. If you wanted to check that out. And I mentioned the thing I'm going to cook today. Bit of a fight over a roosting spot. nice just sitting here by the doorway. Not too cold, not too warm. Stove's warming the tent up a little bit even with the doors open. Just looking out at nature and uh, watching that sunset. Well, not watching it set but watching it get dark. <laughs> it's not quite up to temperature but I'm losing patience. <laughs> I'm hungry. Got a Chicago town. Just the one to keep me going done bread and chicken, roast dinner, everything in this. So they do work pretty well. But yeah, just a snack for the minute. I'll do some cooking a bit later. There we go.
take a look at this pizza. Oh, it looks good. I might just give it a few more minutes. Oh, and my uh, fan started going on top of the oven. <laughs> Do like a camp cooked <laughs> Chicago town pizza. It's hot. Let's start with a little bit. It's really good to be back in this bell tent. It's absolute luxury. To think a week ago I was under a tarp. <laughs> a week before that it was snowing and today's been glorious. It's uh, really chilled down now so the stove is uh, coming into its own. And I think that fan's doing a good job too. I've had that for ages just haven't thought to use it. It's quite bulky if you're kind of using a collapsible stove and that. But uh, for this setup it's great. I'm going to chill out for a little bit and, uh, and cook some dinner because that pizza wasn't that filling. I've got another one of them but I'll probably have that for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> Looks like we've got a full moon coming up or thereabouts. I've got, very unlike me, some pre-seasoned meat and uh, peppers and onion. So let's see if we can do this dignified. The answer to that is no. That's cooled down the pan a bit. I'll get going shortly. That's all cooked up nice. Got a, like a smoky chilli sauce on there. And uh, just got some wraps. Going easy tonight, I'll do something more involved tomorrow. beer. I've got my first of probably several wraps. <laughs> mm. Kind of a sweet and smoky chilli sauce. Very nice.
Good morning. I got a great night's sleep, I must admit. Really, really good. I woke up once for a pee. <laughs> and that was it. Really love sleeping in this bell tent. For processed a little firewood and just got the stove going, maybe some breakfast, but mainly to take that chill off, that morning chill. Um, yeah, got a few jobs to do today around the woodland. I may film a bit of it, but uh, it's not exactly the most interesting stuff. Gonna take down that natural shelter, uh, tidy up a couple of fire pits, that sort of thing. Um, I was gonna bake some bread today. I haven't got the loaf pan, but I've got bread mix that I made. So I might make some kind of rolls for lunch. We'll see. I've got no strict timetable today. Couple of nice pork sausages. And put in a bit of bacon. I think just the one egg today. We're on a slope here. <laughs> just used my enamel plate to make sure the egg's cooked on top. Which has worked a treat. Pretty much there. Well, I'm at the natural shelter, I'm just gonna be taking it down. It's not too much work. There's some good wood on the bottom there for the bed that I need to take over uh, and a fire pit to clean up as well. Might be some good wood up here. A lot of it's rotting, so that can go back on the uh, floor of the woodland. Keeping some of the better bits here that I can use on other projects and stuff. I'll just lean them up for now. Most of it's rotten. Now it's pretty much the bed left. I know this stuff's pretty good, so I'll put it up in the tree as well. I'm sure 
sure there'll be future projects to use them on. Nice straight ones. Now these though, these are nice bits of pine. See other school marks in them. Um, I'll use these for firewood. So I'll take them with them. Had a couple of fire pits here, but the last time I cooked here, I was uh, rushing a bit to get out of here, so I just doused it and uh, left it, knowing I'd come back. So, time to tidy it. This I'll just spread out. The uh, charcoal's good for the ground. Rest here, I'll just dig in. See the clay underneath there. Here's just them straight ones I'm keeping. It's mainly birch and uh, hornbeam. Uh, bracken on the floor, they'll rot down, no problem. Looking good. That was handy having them score marks from the chainsaw when this uh, pine was taken down. <laughs> Makes life a bit easier. Probably have a little outdoor fire tonight, mix things up and uh, do some roasting with the Dutch oven. Um, I'll dig a, a shallow pit this time, just to make clean up that a little bit easier.
that's most of the pine. This is some other bits and bobs. I'll probably grab some of that chestnut as well for uh, better coals. As you can see, there's ransoms coming up everywhere now. Some wild garlic, so I'll be getting some of this for dinner tonight. And beautiful colours. Such a nice smell. Temperature's really plummeted. As soon as that sun goes down, just gonna put a bit of a base in here and I'm just gonna use fire lighter again. Got on with me. That's the order of the weekend. Use one of these, a bit of a brace, and start putting on this kindling. Plenty of it. That fire lighter will go for a little bit as well. Now some of this I've battened down. Well, that's some welcome heat for sure. Building it up with this pine and I'll get the chestnut on for coals. I'm thinking of cooking on the stove and the fire at the same time. It's something I've never tried before. Getting the timings is going to be a bit funny. Oh, now, definitely going to get some coals in here. I think I've changed my mind. I've got my zebra billy here. I'm going to parboil the vegetables and do them in the Dutch oven with the um, meat. Otherwise I'm running in and out, in and out. It'd be crazy. and I'll keep these chunkyish. Can hear some geese outside.
I'm just going to oil and season this piece of beef. Both sides. I've got a salt pepper mix here. That should also season our veg a bit too as it drips down. I'm going to trivet in the Dutch oven here. I'm just going to place my piece of beef there. And I'm just going to put this veg, which I've put a little oil in already, around. Perfect. Lid on. I'm going to put it over the coals with some on top. Give that a good roasting. Some nice coals there, and a little bit of clay too. Just taking it off for a moment, just to check on it and do a couple of things. It is looking good. Just wanted to move this stuff around. And I completely forgot I was going to use this uh, meter you've seen me use before. You just need to stick it in up to the line. Just going to do that again. Just so I know it's right in the middle there. That's going to give me the ambient temperature on my phone and the internal temperature of the beef there. I just have to set up a cook, beef, and roast, I think it's silver side, and we'll go medium rare, and I've got some time to rest and stuff. Start the cook. Give you estimate cooking time and everything. Right, so here is our beef. I think I let it overrun a little bit probe out. We'll see. Very juicy. Oh, it's pink. Yeah, that's uh, lovely. Give it a little bit of a rest. So I'll stick these on my plate. I've got the potatoes and carrots and you can see I put the garlic in as well I didn't want to put it in too long Ooh, nice roasted carrot there Get the roasted bits off of the uh, trivet
And a bit more of that beef, why not? <laughs> So let's try this. Beautiful. Should have put the um, potatoes in a bit before, but I'm sure that'll still be nice. A bit of wild garlic. Time to load up the stove again and retreat into the tent. I keep doing this blind for the camera. <laughs> It's time for a hot drink, I think. Been chilling out for a little while. And that stove should be good and hot. Such a hot chocolate, I think. Good morning. Another sunny day by the looks of it. Birds are singing. Slept really well. <laughs> really do sleep well in this setup. To be honest, I've slept well quite a lot lately camping. Like all the way through. I uh, suppose I should get up and do some breakfast. Got a few jobs to do today. I um, managed to take down the shelter yesterday, cleaned up a fire pit elsewhere as well. Do some other bits and bobs. But uh, yeah, a few more jobs. First thing is to get this stove on, take that chill off, and uh, get some breakfast. Got some bacon on, and I think I'm going to do some pancakes for various foods with me to choose from. Yeah, feels like a pancake and bacon day today. Just got a Ziploc bag here with some flour, sugar, baking powder, a little salt, some vanilla extract. I've just cracked two eggs in there. And the zip seems to have broken. 
there we go. And I'm just gonna mix that together, add the milk as I need it. Time to use that bacon grease to do a pancake. I didn't get the, the flip on camera. <laughs> Looking good though. Do a couple of these. There we go. Fluffy pancakes, bacon, and maple syrup. Oh, that is lovely. I think what I'm going to do is cook up couple of sausages while I've got the stove going because it's still a bit of a chill but it's going to warm up so uh, if I cook these sausages off now I can have them for some lunch in a bit after I've done a few odd jobs and that will give the uh, stove time to cool down as well because I'm probably going to leave this afternoon I think get a few bits done I feel like I need a shower <laughs> Well, one of my first jobs will have to be tidy up this fireplace. And I may as well save these bits of wood. Take them to the wood store first. Before I take down the awning here, just makes access to the tent a bit easier when I do take it all down. Don't really need it, it's not raining, but I did want to try it out. Here's a spot I used a little while ago. I just thought, collect up the rocks from the fireplace that I used here. Fireplace is cleaned up, but I left the rocks here. So I'll take them over for another project. So one thing I want to do is uh, rebuild the camp kitchen up here by the woodshed. I was never really happy with this. I didn't have as many rocks as I needed or as much time as I needed for the video. So I'm going to spend a bit more time and do something a bit more properly. And tear this down. Well, I've done a lot of work and I personally think 
I deserve a cup of tea and some lunch. to go with my cup of tea, them sausages I cooked earlier in a wrap, with a bit of ketchup of course. That's hot. <laughs> so not as warm as it's been the last couple of days, but it's still a beautiful day. I've got most of the tent emptied now, so it's just really taking the tent down, getting it all loaded up to get out of here. I think I've done the jobs I'm going to do for today. So I'm probably going to chill for half hour or so, just enjoy the woods without the camera and then pack up. You can probably make out that mostly dry circle oven towards the front here. Ground was still quite wet from all the rain we had. I'm all packed up, trucks all packed up up there. So I'm heading off. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. It's um, a relaxing camp when you're in the tent when you're doing this sort of thing, but uh, it's a lot of work to get there and get back. <laughs> Take all down and put up. Um, yeah, I think we'll be doing some simple ones after this. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Goodbye.